Welcome to the Open Dental webinar for WebSketch New and Existing Patient. In this webinar, you will learn how to set up and use WebSketch New and Existing Patient within Open Dental, how to generate URLs for patient scheduling, and learning what the patient will see for both features. Before setup of WebSketch New and Existing Patient, your office will need to ensure the office's schedule and appointment types have already been set up. To create an appointment type, go to Setup, Appointments, and Appointment Types. In this example, we've already set up WebSketch New Patient and Existing Patient appointment types. These appointment types will have a set time length and set procedures for each appointment type. A specific color can also be assigned to these types if your office prefers this. Next, we will navigate to eServices, Web Scheduling, and New Patient. First, you'll want to make sure that your appointment types have been created and associated to your web schedule new patient. If you have not yet done that, we can double click into appointment types, click add under edit items, enter in our reason. This is what the patient will see when they go to schedule themselves on your scheduling URL. Next, we will click the ellipses here next to appointment type and select our corresponding appointment type. Click OK, then OK again, and close. Now you'll see our new appointment type shows here under Appointment Types window. Next, we'll select the operatories you'll want to consider for patient scheduling by double-clicking into the Operatories Considered section here. Then we'll double click into the operatory we want to select. We'll click the ellipses here next to new PAT appointment types. Then select our web sketch new patient appointment types here. Press OK. OK. And then close. Patients will not be able to see these operatories when they web schedule, only their available times. Also note that appointment types can be used for both existing and new patient web scheduling. If your office isn't wanting patients to schedule themselves for same day appointments, we'll need to add a value to the minimum number of days out an appointment can be scheduled field. In this example, we'll enter a one and it will allow patients to schedule themselves out after one day. If a two was entered, it would push scheduling out two days. Once all of your operatories have been selected and the appointment types have been assigned, you'll see a list of available times in the time slots window after selecting the corresponding appointment type to the right of the window. If no time slots show up, make sure your schedule is properly set up or that you have the proper clinic selected if you have clinics turned on in your database. These availabilities are based on the time lengths for each appointment type. There is up to three months of available openings for web scheduling. If your office uses blockouts for notation purposes, the blockout types used for notes will need to be selected in the allowed blockout types section here. Restricted to reasons will list blockouts that have been restricted to a web schedule new patient appointment type. Click edit to add blockouts. When restricted, the selected appointment types can only be scheduled over the associated blockout types. Allow patients to select provider will allow the patients to choose the provider for their appointment. Prevent double booking will look for the providers assigned in each operatory and restrict the schedule so that the provider is not double booked for that time if another appointment with the provider is already on the schedule. If a provider uses multiple operatories in a given time, consider unchecking this box. Feel free to ask our eServices team for more information on this. Notification settings allows your office to automatically send the patient a confirmation message after web scheduling. You can choose your communication method and even edit what your message says. Alternatively, you can select none if you would not like to send these messages. Next, we'll take a look at the web schedule existing setup by clicking on existing patient here under web scheduling. In here, you'll notice that the setup window is pretty much an exact copy of the WebSketch new patient setup. 
You'll start again by your, selecting your appointment types, selecting your operatories considered. This time we'll click the ellipses next to existing PAT appointment types. Select our existing appointment types here. Press OK, OK, and then close. The rest of the setup in this window is exactly the same as WebSketch New Patient. Heading over to Web Scheduling Advanced, we'll find the URLs for Web Schedule New and Existing Patient here under Scheduling URL. This is also where we can add web forms to redirect to after a new patient or existing patient has used your web scheduling. We could do this by clicking Edit next to the corresponding method, selecting our available form. We can also add additional forms by clicking the ellipses here next to next forms and selecting additional forms here. While the redirects themselves will be based on their selection of new patient or existing patient, the scheduling URL will remain the same. This can be given to your webmaster to add to your practice's website. Next, we'll demonstrate what the patient will see for new patient and existing web scheduling. Once we've navigated to the scheduling URL, you'll see your practice information on the header here at the top of the web page. We'll also be greeted by some pre screen questions, which will allow Open Dental to understand if this is a new patient or an existing patient scheduling in your database. We'll start by looking at what a new patient will see for new patient web scheduling. We'll start by answering no to has this patient had an appointment with us before? And then we'll answer yes to is the patient 18 years of age or older. Next, we'll be asked for the reason for our appointment. Once we click the drop down, we'll be seeing all the reasons that we set up in your new patient web scheduling setup. We'll select a reason and then click view openings. Next, we'll see a calendar with lit up available days to schedule our appointment. Once we click a day, we see available time slots on that day to schedule our appointment. We'll select a time here, and then we ask our patient to enter in some basic patient information. Next, we'll click Schedule Appointment at the bottom of the page here. Once we've clicked that, we get an appointment booked notification here with the date and time that we scheduled our appointment. Next, we'll take a look at what an existing patient will see when scheduling themselves on your URL. So for an existing patient, this time we'll answer yes to has this patient had an appointment with us before. Next, you'll see we'll be asked to verify our personal information by entering in our first name, last name, and birth date. This way, Open Dental can verify if the patient has been seen in your office before. Once we click that, we'll press OK. Then we'll be asked, what is the reason for this appointment again? Similar to new patient, we'll click the drop down and select our reason for our appointment here, and then click view openings. This time around, as you can see, we're only greeted by our calendar, as we don't need our existing patient to enter in some basic patient information. We'll select a date and time here again, and click schedule appointment. This time you'll also know that in WebSketch existing patient, we ask the patient to verify their identity by either sending them a text or email or both, depending on their selection here. I'll click send on send text to my phone number. This will send a six digit verification code to the patient's phone number. Once the verification code has been entered, we can click verify. And as you can see, we do get the appointment book notification again with the date and time of our appointment. Next, we'll take a look at what the appointments will look like in your database, as well as taking a look at the alerts that will show when a new patient or existing patient has created an appointment. Lastly, we'll take a look at our schedule in Open Dental so we can show you our new patient appointment and existing patient appointment. We'll navigate to the day here for our new patient appointment and as you can see, our appointment shows here with the date and time that we selected, as well as showing an appointment note for the reason for our appointment based upon the reason that we chose when we scheduled our appointment. 
If we navigate to the day for our existing patient, we'll likewise see our appointment here at the correct time that we selected, as well as again, having an appointment note showing the reason for our web scheduled appointment here. Last, we'll take a look at the alerts that show whenever an appointment has been scheduled by clicking the alerts button here on your toolbar. As you can see, we have an alert here for new web scheduled new patient appointment, which shows the date and time of our appointment, as well as an alert here for our web scheduled existing patient appointment, as well as again the date and time of the appointment. These will show any time a patient has scheduled in your database, that way you're aware when a new appointment has been created via web sketch. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Thank you.